Okay, we're talking about the color of cattle here. Now, we have seen in previous examples how this trait behaves, and now they're just recalling it for us. They say there are three things that can happen when you cross cattle of different colors. There's a trait for red, which we call capital R, and another trait, which I'll call W, which produces white fur. So you can have a red-furred bull or a white-furred bull. And the reason I'm trying to avoid using a lower case here is that neither of these is really dominant over the other. When you have RR, that gives you red, not surprisingly. And when you have WW, that gives you white. But when you have one of each, neither one of them overrides the other. You don't get red or white, you get Rowan. And Rowan is what happens when you have red and white hairs at the same time. So you see, if you look up close at a Rowan animal, you're going to see a bunch of reddish hair, but you're also going to see a bunch of white hair. The effect of this, if you're standing 200 feet away and you look at this animal, is they look kind of pinkish. But when you get up close, you find that it is not covered with pink hairs. It is covered with red and white hairs just living side by side. And that is what we call codominance. It's not incomplete dominance. That would mean pink hair. It's codominance because when you have the red and white traits, you display them both at the same time. This is like what happens with blood type, where if you have the A and the A allele and the B allele, your blood has A's and B's on it. So we call this codominance behavior. Now we kind of know that because we've seen it before. We also know it because we don't need multiple alleles to explain this, or we don't see two different alleles combining to determine the color. That could happen if we had, say, a red and white trait, and then we also had albino that could shut off the color from this gene, but nothing like that is happening. In multiple allele questions, there's going to be two sets of information, one of them about, say, coat color and another one about albino or not, or one will be your hair color and the other one will be are you bald or not. There will be two separate traits that interact. Both of those things are about your hair, but in different ways. In this case, we really only have one thing to talk about, and it's the hair color, and it just happens that when you have both of the alleles for hair color, something interesting happens. You don't get normal dominance, you get something else where both colors appear at the same time.